first in this video, I'm going to talk about const. And let's say I have an object, some obj. Everything's public inside this object. And I'm going to have an integer, which is 5. So we have some obj. And when I say const int 5, it just means that it's a constant. It means I'm not going to be able to change the value inside n. And here we get the error message. So the little block of memory here, or the values that are inside this memory, will remain constant throughout the life cycle of this object. And if you don't know what a life cycle is, make sure you check out my previous videos. And let me give you another example. We could also have a const array. I'm going to have a const array of characters. I'll just call it C. Size is 3. And for the values, I'm just going to say hi. I'm going to see out some obj, the character array, f5. OK, here's the result. And of course, if you don't know what a terminating 0 is, check out my previous video, which is video number 17.3. So here we have some data inside a certain part of your memory, which will remain constant. The idea of constant is fairly easy. Now let me give you something that might be a little confusing. And remember from video number 17.3 that arrays decay into pointers. So you might have seen something like this. I'm going to create a, a pointer of a character. I'll call it PTR. And I'm going to say hello. This might be confusing because you might think that it's the pointer that's the constant, but it's the hello that's the constant. So if I try to change the hello into something else, the, the first letter of hello, if I try to change this to R, we're going to get an error message. But the pointer itself is not the constant. I can change it to, I can point it to another set of characters, for example, the pointer. I'll point it to another string called hello again. And this works. If I do a C out, some obj, the pointer, f5. OK. Again, the array is the constant. You can change the pointer. Array is the constant. You can change the pointer. If I try to draw this, you have a bunch of memory. The data inside is hello, h, e, l, l. It goes on. And you have a pointer. And this pointer points to the first element of the array. It's the array that's the constant. But of course, you could have another array that could be another constant. Here is another constant array, and the pointer could point to this as well, meaning you can change the values of the pointer to point to something else. So don't be confused by the syntax. The idea itself is fairly easy. Now, you might be wondering why we ever need a pointer to a constant array, and we'll get deeper into that later, because that requires some understanding of fundamental concepts like L values, R values, which we have not talked about yet. That is a pretty big topic on its own. And I'm going to do that in a separate video. For this video, let's just understand that this syntax means it's a constant array, not a constant pointer. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.